good afternoon good morning good evening whatever you are connecting from this afternoon i'm going to be configuring what i'm going to be configuring a reverse lookup zoom a reverse lookup zoom or you can call it reverse dns zoom now what is a reverse lookup zoom a reverse lookup zoom is a dns zoom that is used to map ip address to a domain to a domain names is what it is used to map ip address toward a domain names now a regular dns zoom maps domain names to ip address using a records whilst a reverse lookup zoom maps ip address to domain names using ptr which is pointer records now what is the important of this reverse lookup zoom why do we need to configure it one it can be used for troubleshooting network issues probably an organization where you have issue with the server so when you have your reverse lookup zoom configured that can also be used towards to resolve the network issue you can use that to what to troubleshoot then two detecting ip smoothing and identifying the source of spam maybe probably you have maybe your ip is being spam or something like that so once you have that being configured it can be easily what detected then three it helps for organization with complex network setup it helps for organization with all with complex what network what setup then lastly it helps for managing and securing network infrastructure it helps for managing and securing what network what infrastructure now quickly let's see how we can configure that now i'm going to be using the server 2019 that i'm going to my server 2019 but before we do that now I will go to my command prompt, go to your start button and click on CMD. And then I'm going to show you something. You type NS lookup and you press your enter. Now, if you look type it, now you can see here, you have default server unknown. The reason being is because the reverse lookup zoom has not been configured. So you can already see you have the IP address showing there. So I need to configure this now. Then I will go to my server manager and then click on the tools and then click on DNS. What is DNS? Which is domain name system. Click on that. When you now click on that, now you click on this, your DNS. So at times, if it's like this, you click on this arrow to bring it down and then you see your reverse lookup zoom. What do you do? You right click on it and then click on new zoom. Then from here, you click on your next then you come up here and say, select the type of zone you want to create. Here, I'm going to be creating what the primary zone. Then click on next. Then here it says, select how you want zone data replicated. Now I'm going to select the first option, which says to all DNS server running on domain, running on domain controller in this forest. What is the forest? Look, this is this now, Yemtech IT. So that's by forest. So click on that option and then you click on your next. And then here, I'm going to be using the IPv4 reverse lookup zone. And then here, you click on your next. Then here, you put your network ID. Now, what's my network ID? If I go back to my CMD and I type IP config slash all, click on enter. Then when you come up here, you see your IPv4 address. Can you see it now? So this first three octet is what is required of me to put in there this 192.168.88 now you come back there and then you put in your network id which is 192.168 then dot 88 and then you click on your next now here you click on this first option here allow all secure dynamic updates yes that is good then you click on your next again and then you click on finish so when you do that now you go back to your reverse lookup zoom click on the arrow there so can you see now now we now need to now configure the ptr we now need to point it toward to the ptr so you come here and right click and click on new pointer you click on that once you do that then make sure you come up here and click on allow any authenticated user to update all dns records 
with the same name. So make sure you check that spot in. So here you have the I, you have the host IP address. So and then here you put in the ID, which is the two fifty. So then, or you can come here and click on this where you have your host name, and then browse to where you have your TNS. So you right double click, then double click on this, double click on that, and then you go down and then look. This is it here. So if you expand this, so you can see. Let me expand this. Yeah. So can you see now? So I can click on this and then click on OK. So I either do it this way or I put in my host IP address. So then you click on your OK. Now, this has now been configured. Now you need to confirm if this is well set up. So you go back to your CMD here. Now click on this. Let me clear this. Click on CLS, you clear. And then you type your NS lookup again. NS lookup and then you press your enter. So now can you see you now have the default server? Can you see the name? And then you have what the address, which is the IP. Now, if I type the IP, just 192.168.88.250, and you press your enter. Can you see it now? It's showing me what the IP address from our definition, you can see it says a reverse lookup zoom or reverse DNS zoom is a zoom that is used to map IP address to a domain name. Map IP address to what to a domain name. So, can you see where you have this is the IP address and this is what the domain name? So, this IP address has a map to what this domain name. I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial. Thank you. Kindly share with other colleagues. Thank you. Bye-bye. I see you in the next tutorial.